you know, what, what are some of the things you do to, to stay sharp for a tournament well, like this? I have always found that just even if you're, you know, you're dealing with tons and tons of rain and you don't even have the ability to, to uh, you know, get out on the field or even get into the cages or whatever the case may be, always pick up your bat and, 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 and grip your bat and feel your bat. You know, you can talk to all the professionals like myself. There is a feel to this sport. We call it baseball DNA. We call it, uh, you know, that extra sense that you have as you get higher and closer to the big leagues. You start to develop this. It's, you know, this baseball IQ. Uh, scouts talk about it an awful lot. It's not something that you can measure. Uh, it's not a number that you put on, but it's certainly things that you pick up. And, and really the kind of things that we, we, we all had about us was, a day without baseball just really didn't sit well with us. So what we would do is, you know, pick up your bat, go into the garage. Uh, last night, Trey was swinging his bat right here in the apartment. And, 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 and that's just it. We clear out some space. You know, you grab a pillow, throw it on the ground, call it home plate. And, you know, get yourself over it. Get your feel. Get your timing. Get your vision. Start to visualize. A lot of visualization is very, very important. I used to always, no matter what I was doing, whether I was working off a tee, whether I was doing soft toss or short toss or short screen, anything that I was working on was always incorporate some element of visualization of what is actually going on. The pitcher pitching to you, maybe even from different arm angles, but seeing uh, what you want to do with the baseball, where you want your fingers to be, where you want your balance to be. I talk about it all the time. Tony Gwynn used to tell me all about it, the things that are so much important leading with that knob and keeping your balance, you know, hitters that, you know, I saw a bunch of this yesterday, a lot of kids falling over the plate. What does that tell you? The first thing it tells you is that they're out of balance. Uh, they're they're going to be out of whack. And when you, whenever you start changing bat angles or you change your swing or even your feet can change your bat angle, depending on, you know, how you're, you're rotating through the zone. And so if you're off balance, you're going to ultimately change that bat angle and you're going to get different results. You're going to see a lot more foul balls. You're not going to get your pitch. And when you get your pitch, you might foul it off. And, you know, I tell my kids constantly, I said, you're going to go into every at bat and you're going to get something to hit. But the key to this game is learning and teaching yourself how to consistently hit it. When you get the mistake, don't miss it. Because if you miss it, then you got to battle. And that's when you're dealing with the curveballs and the change ups and all the other things that come. So uh, you know, think creatively. And that's what I really do encourage a lot of kids to do today is to think creatively. Sometimes it can even just be wiffle ball inside the house or something that's soft. We used to take socks, roll up socks, and hit socks. But the idea is just that hand-eye coordination and continually doing it. Baseball, you know, baseball bats. <laughs> these guys, you got to be born with them in your hand, and it's like you can't want to. You, you don't want to put it down, and, and, and that's really what it comes down to. So when you're dealing with the rain, you don't have a game that day. I would always encourage you to at least take 10, 15 minutes, go into the garage, find a space, you know, hold your bat, feel your bat. And just kind of set yourself up for what you believe, you know, your next game. Set yourself up for your next game with that in mind, uh, with with some visualization. No, that's, that's an excellent point. You had me thinking, maybe uh, a little advice to, to travel people, because you don't really want to, like, take a bat to an Airbnb. <laughs> bat slips out of your hand, all of a sudden you're breaking a lamp <laughs> right. or a TV. Make sure uh, what do you think? out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Holly, what do you think about, you know, packing along a wiffle ball bat? You know, just for, All the time, for something yeah. like that, just to just to have that in the bag is uh, to, to swing around a hotel room or an Airbnb or an apartment or wherever you might be. Joe, those are vital. I mean, I, anything to be creative. I, <laughs> when I was a kid growing up, growing up in New Jersey, uh, you know, there would be many times and, and, you know, our seasons were different. You know, we were raised differently. These kids today, you know, it's like you're all in with baseball. But when I was growing up, we played different sports. So there were different seasons. And I always just remember, you know. You, we didn't travel. There wasn't travel ball like it is today. And, you know, honestly, I would go around wherever I was. If I was on vacation with my parents or whatever I was doing, I'd find a stick <laughs> and pretend that stick was my baseball bat. But to your point, yes, wiffle ball bats, anything that can kind of provide you the traction in that thought process. And that's really what you want to get yourself into is who am I? What do I want to be? What's my swing path? Any of those things certainly are encouraging you baseball is like riding a bike it's it's very simple you got to do it an awful lot you got to you, know, you got to get on it you got to stay on it and you got to do it especially the hitters the pitchers i think it's obviously a little bit different you know doing your defensive work that's obviously a little bit more organized but the one thing that we always talk about because it's the stinking hardest thing to do in the world is hit and so you know i was always visualizing even as a young kid 
Steve Carlton on the mound. What am I going to do when he throws his nasty slider? And how am I going to keep my front shoulder? And it's just things like that that would always – these thoughts would always just be running through my mind of, of how to do – hitting, uh, you know, a little bit better. So anything that encourages that, I, I see that as a, as, as a great positive. It doesn't always have to be organized. It doesn't have to be, uh, you know, a clinic. It doesn't have to be you searching out the gym and all these other things. Those things are all great. But the guys who really want this, you can see it in their eyes. It's something that they, they search for. And, you know, Joe, I'm sure you've probably heard the phrase uh, a million times. This kid was born with a bat in his hands. Well, those yep. are the guys that, 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 that really just – understand how hard this is but that it gets more comfortable and a lot easier the more that we do it and in in 